Hi everyone, this lesson is on the signs and symptoms of acute conjunctivitis, which is also called pink eye. So we're going to talk about different types of conjunctivitis and the signs and symptoms that occur with each type. We'll also talk about associated medical conditions and possible complications that can occur if you have conjunctivitis. So before we talk about the signs and symptoms, let's talk about what conjunctivitis is. So conjunctivitis is an inflammation of the conjunctiva of the eye. And the conjunctiva is a membrane that covers the inner lining of the eyelid and also the outer surface of the eye. And in this condition, that layer or that membrane becomes inflamed. And as mentioned before, acute conjunctivitis is also known as pink eye. And although it is characterized by a red or pink eye, not all red eyes are conjunctivitis. So this is something to think about when we go through this lesson. So there are three different types of conjunctivitis we're going to talk about in this lesson. One is known as allergic conjunctivitis. The second is bacterial conjunctivitis. And the third is viral conjunctivitis. Now, the most common type is going to be viral conjunctivitis, and this makes up 80% of all cases of conjunctivitis. And bacterial conjunctivitis is more common in children. So we're first going to talk about allergic conjunctivitis. So this is what allergic conjunctivitis can look like. So some of the characteristic signs and symptoms that can occur with allergic conjunctivitis is eye redness, and we can see conjunctival injection. So conjunctival injection is simply a term for dilated or inflamed blood vessels in the eye. Now you can't really see it in this image, but there may be some of these dilated blood vessels that can be seen in the eye of patients who have allergic conjunctivitis. Now we can also see itching, and itching is actually going to occur on the eye or surrounding area, and it's going to be a characteristic finding in allergic conjunctivitis. So the eyes are going to be very itchy with this condition. And along with this itching, tearing of the eyes is very common with this condition. So it's going to be runny eyes, and the discharge is going to be watery and clear. We can also see something called chemosis. Chemosis is the swelling of the eye surface. So this is what chemosis actually looks like. And then in some patients, they may have burning eyes. So there's a sensation of burning, but otherwise there's no pain with the eye. So oftentimes patients can have very itchy eyes, runny eyes, they can have chemosis, and they can feel like there's burning sensation with their eyes. And with regards to allergic conjunctivitis, symptoms are going to occur bilaterally, which means that they're going to occur in both eyes. So all these symptoms are going to be seen in both eyes. Now there are other associated signs and symptoms of allergic conjunctivitis and other associated medical conditions. So what we can also see with allergic conjunctivitis is increased mucus production. So patients can be very congested. They can be sneezing. They can be blowing their nose a lot. And in some patients, they may be coughing as well due to post-nasal drip. So that's where there's mucus that runs down the back of the throat and causes some coughing to occur. And allergic conjunctivitis is going to be associated with what we call the atopic triad. So the atopic triad are going to be three conditions, all starting with the letter A. So that's going to help us remember them. One of them is allergic rhinitis. So allergic rhinitis is also known as hay fever. This is where patients have excessive sneezing and runny nose. And, and again, runny eyes and itchy eyes are going to be very common with this. Patients with allergic conjunctivitis can also experience atopic dermatitis. This is also known as eczema. And asthma can also occur in these patients as well. So these are going to be associated conditions with allergic conjunctivitis. And if you have one of these atopic triad, 80% of the time you will have another one or both. So they're very highly associated with each other. Now let's talk about bacterial conjunctivitis. So this is what bacterial conjunctivitis can look like. Again, we can see eye redness and we can definitely see conjunctival injection in this image here. So you can see all these dilated and inflamed blood vessels. We can also see itching. Itching can occur in bacterial conjunctivitis, but it's not as characteristic of a finding. So it's not going to be as itchy as we can see with allergic conjunctivitis. We can also see issues with eye tearing. So there can be runny eyes and we can also see issues with eye discharge more specifically. So eye discharge is going to be more common with bacterial conjunctivitis. It's going to be purulent. This means that it's pus-like. So the coloration of the eye discharge can be white, green, or yellow. So we can see in this image here, it's white or a greenish yellowish color. The discharge can be quite thick and be a lot of discharge. And it can be quite sticky as well. And in fact, overnight, if patients fall asleep and they wake up in the morning, their eyes and eyelids can essentially be glued shut. So all that discharge that has occurred overnight can dry and cause the eyelids to stick together. And it can be very difficult to pull the eyelids apart. All that discharge can be very sticky and can cause glued shut eyes in the morning. And Bacterial conjunctivitis is going to more likely occur unilaterally, meaning that usually only one eye is affected. But in some cases, we can see both eyes being affected. But again, most of the time, we're going to see it being in only one eye. 
Now, having bacterial conjunctivitis can lead to several different complications. One of them is a condition known as bacterial keratitis. Keratitis is an inflammation of the cornea of the eye. So the cornea is going to be overlying the pupil and the iris. And this is where light is focused through, and this is a layer through which we actually see. So this can more often occur in patients who wear contact lenses. And when patients have bacterial keratitis, they may have eye pain and blurred vision. You can imagine again that the cornea is inflamed and may have difficulty having light travel through it. And there can also be issues with photophobia, which is a sensitivity to light as well. And then other complications with bacterial conjunctivitis is vision loss and blindness. This can occur in some severe cases of bacterial conjunctivitis and ocular perforation. So there can be perforations or holes that can occur in the eye in patients who have bacterial conjunctivitis. So these are more serious complications that can occur. Now let's talk about viral conjunctivitis. So this is what viral conjunctivitis can look like. So again, we're going to see eye redness. And with regards to the eye redness in viral conjunctivitis, we're going to see something called follicles more often. So follicles are these little raised bumps. So if you were to pull down on your eyelid, you can actually see these little raised bumps. These can occur in viral conjunctivitis, but they can also occur in allergic conjunctivitis as well. We can also see itching with viral conjunctivitis, but again, it's not going to be as common or characteristic as in allergic conjunctivitis. And we can also see eye discharge as well. So tearing, the eye discharge is going to be more watery or serous. And there can be a little bit of stickiness as well with the discharge in viral conjunctivitis. So in the mornings, patients can describe their eyelids being sticky. So there may be a little difficult to open their eyelids, but there's not going to be like we see in bacterial conjunctivitis where they're essentially glued shut, where it's very difficult to pull them apart. And then what's more going to be characteristic with regards to viral conjunctivitis is a foreign body sensation. So a foreign body sensation essentially means that you feel like there's something in your eye. So there can be a feeling of gritty sensation. So if you blink, you feel like there's something in your eye, like there's something you need to get out. So that is what a foreign body sensation is. And this is more common in viral conjunctivitis. And viral conjunctivitis can either be unilateral or bilateral again. So either one eye is affected or both eyes are affected. Now, there are other associated signs and symptoms of viral conjunctivitis. Some of these include eye pain or irritation. We can also see something called preauricular lymphadenopathy. So it is a lymph node that is right in front of your ear, right in this location here. And it is a usually swollen, tender lymph node. It may not be swollen, but it can be tender in that area. And this is actually going to be a common finding in patients who have viral conjunctivitis. So this area in front of the ear may be a little swollen and may be tender to touch. So this is again, very common in viral conjunctivitis. And we can also see issues with upper respiratory tract infections as well. So patients who have viral conjunctivitis may have a concomitant or a co-occurring infection in the nose and throat. So it could be a common cold, or they may have had a common cold that has resolved and now they're having the viral conjunctivitis. So an upper respiratory tract infection or a common cold is often associated with a viral conjunctivitis. Now let's talk about the different types of conjunctivitis that we learned about in this lesson so we can better remember all the different things that can occur with each one. So in allergic conjunctivitis, the discharge is going to be watery. Most often it's going to be watery. It can be a little bit mucoceries, but it's mostly going to be watery. The eyes can often have chemosis, so a swelling of the surface of the eye can be common. Because this is due to allergies, we can often see issues with sneezing, runny nose, very itchy eyes, a lot of congestion, and a possible cough as well. And patients can often have associations with atopic triad conditions like asthma and eczema. And in allergic conjunctivitis, it's going to be bilateral, meaning that both eyes are going to be affected. In bacterial conjunctivitis, it's going to be purulent discharge, meaning that it's going to be pus-like, it's going to be white or green or yellowish in coloration. There can be a lot of this discharge. In the morning, patients can wake up and they're eyelids are glued shut. So that discharge can be so much that it can dry and stick and make those eyelids close together. There can also be complications with patients who have bacterial conjunctivitis. So complications can include bacterial keratitis and vision loss. And usually only one eye is affected in bacterial conjunctivitis. And in viral conjunctivitis, we can have serous or watery discharge. There may be follicles, so those little raised bumps. If you were to actually look and pull down on the eyelid, you can see these little raised bumps. There may be a foreign body sensation. There may feel like there's something in the eye as well. And then what's common with patients who have viral conjunctivitis is that preauricular lymphadenopathy, that little lymph node in front of the ear may be tender to touch. And in some other cases, the discharge in viral conjunctivitis can be mucopurulent, meaning that it's a mixture of mucus and pus or pus-like discharge. 
and that is going to occur in the case of herpes zoster ophthalmicus, which is an eye condition caused by a herpes zoster viral infection. So I do want to mention that here as well. And viral conjunctivitis is often going to occur in one eye or both eyes. So if you want to learn more about conjunctivitis, including how to treat it, please check out my full lesson on this topic. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Thanks so much for watching, and hope to see you next time.